New concerns about the risks posed by dietary supplements and herbal remedies. And we're talking about it today because a coroner's report has revealed that the wife of a congressman died last year after ingesting a plant generally considered to be safe. Kaiser Health News recently obtained that coroner's report. It says that Lori McClintock, the wife of California Representative Tom McClintock, died from dehydration after her stomach and intestines became inflamed. The inflammation was reportedly caused by, quote, adverse effects of white mulberry leaf ingestion. Now, this plant is often used as an herbal remedy for ailments, including diabetes, obesity, and high cholesterol. Samantha Young joins us now. She's a senior correspondent for Kaiser Health News. Hi, Samantha. Uh, great to see you. You also wrote the article that broke this story. So clearly, you're the person to talk to about all of this. You know, I, I'm one of these people who loves to take vitamins. I take a lot of vitamins and some herbal supplements. So these sorts of stories do worry me. Um, what do we know about the days leading up to McClintock's death? And how was the coroner able to link her death to this herbal substance? Hi, good, good morning. Thank you for having me on. Um, yeah, you're right. You're not the only one that takes supplements. I mean, 80% of Americans uh, are taking a supplement. And you know, what we know about the days leading up to Lori McClintock's death, it's, it's not exactly clear. We, we don't know all the specifics. But, but what we do know is that she um, was reportedly, you know, she was happy. She was on a roll at a new job. Uh, her husband said that she was um, carefully dieting. She had just joined a gym. She was um, wrapping presents for Christmas because it was mid-December at the time. Uh, and when he spoke to her the day before, said that she was feeling fine. Um, the coroner's report, though, uh, when it came out, said that she felt like she had complaints of an upset stomach the day before. And so what we know about, <laughs> yeah, and so the coroner's uh, report, um, how they made this link, uh, they found a partial white mulberry leaf in, inside her body when they did the autopsy. Mm. And this, it turns out that white mulberry leaf can be one of the causes of dehydration. Mm. Wow. Okay. Uh, Samantha, the, um, the uh, supplements industry is an industry. It has lobbyists and representatives, a lot of business at stake here. Uh, what did representatives from the industry uh, tell you in response to your reporting? Yes, they are an industry, a very influential industry, and they make a lot of money, about $54 billion industry, in fact. And uh, they, they, they questioned it. Uh, they said, how, how could this coroner possibly have linked a white mulberry leaf to dehydration, that there are a lot of causes of dehydration? And I had the same questions. So I interviewed medical experts, a former pathologists, medical examiners, and I wanted to know, you know, does white mulberry leaf cause dehydration? And it does. Mm. And, and then also I went to the Sacramento County coroner, you know, how, how did they come to this conclusion? Mm. They declined to comment specifically on Lori McClintock's case. But what they did tell me is that they, uh, and generally in all of their cases, they will go and they will seek a person's medical records and they will interview the family members to try to determine the causes that led to somebody's death. Right. You know, it's right. interesting because, of course, we're talking about an herbal supplement and we do know that the sort of herbal industry is more loosely regulated, right, by the or FDA. Or not regulated, right? Or I mean, not even if regulated If you read the bottle, it says these statements have not been reviewed by the FDA. Right. That is very often the case. So that's my question. Does the FDA, you know, regulate these herbal supplements at all? And if so, you know, how closely do they pay attention to, you know, stories like this? They do regulate them in a sense that they're regulated like a food. So mm. it's so much less rigorous than your prescription drug that you might pick up at the pharmacy or even an over-the-counter drug. Uh, so, you know, something like white mulberry leaf, when you, somebody goes to grab it from the pharmacy or a food, food store, or even online, you know, it's, they, they're marketing it for weight loss or diabetes control. It's not going to have all of, it wouldn't have gone through all the rigorous safety mm. and scientific tests that's required for, for your uh, prescription medicine. I'm like, you know, we all go to the pharmacy and we get our prescription medicine and it comes with this long list of possible side effects. You just don't get that with a supplement. Mm. Uh, you know, consumers have a general sense, Samantha, that if they buy something through legal channels, it's a legal product, uh, that when they consume it, it will be relatively safe. And so lawmakers often try to step in and, and correct issues in that area. What are lawmakers saying they may do here 
uh, in response to this potential death tied to mulberry leaf? Well, they do. And, and actually, in fact, uh, earlier this spring, uh, Senators Durbin of Illinois and Mike Braun of Indiana introduced legislation that would require more oversight of the dietary supplements industry. And, and I'll note that this was before we reported this story, right. so not necessarily tied to this, but but this is something that Senator Durbin has been a, a big advocate for um, for many years. Uh, and this legislation has been folded into a larger bill that would reauthorize the FDA. So it hasn't yet passed either house, but it is in negotiations and it will be interesting to see if if there will be more oversight because of this case. Well, I hope there is because I'm a sucker for supplements and I'd like to know that they're safe. <laughs> I've seen a bottle or two around my house as well. That's right. Samantha Young, thank you so much. Great reporting on this. Thank you. Thank you.